Welcome to Board Game Casual. In this video, we're talking about my top five game night accessories. Now these aren't necessarily all board game accessories, but some key items to have around that make for a more welcoming, comfortable, fun game night overall. Let's get into it. When I have a game night, it goes without saying that there are going to be cocktails. In fact, I got into board games as an excuse to get together with friends and have some drinks. My number five game night accessory is an ice bucket and scoop. Pre-filling an ice bucket with ice from the freezer or a bag of ice from the store makes it really welcoming for anyone to get up and make themselves a drink or refill their glass themselves. Even if you have a fridge with an ice dispenser in the door, that can be a bit intimidating for someone to go into your kitchen directly and get it from your fridge. The mobility of an ice bucket also means you have ice right next to wherever you set up your drink station. Now, of course, you can use tongs for the ice, but I prefer a scoop because it's much quicker to fill up a glass. I got this awesome insulated ice bucket and scoop off of Amazon for about 30 bucks. Be sure to keep an eye on your bucket throughout the night and make sure to refill it when it gets low. I just talked about how an ice bucket is the perfect complement for your self-service bar or drink station. Well, what better way to designate where your drink station is than with my number four recommendation, a silicone bar mat. A bar mat has a raised surface and its main purpose is to catch any spills or condensation, keeping your counter or your table clean and dry. A bar mat shows you exactly where to pour and make your drink. It gives you a place to set down a mixing spoon or a shaker lid without making the countertop sticky. They come in a variety of sizes. I highly recommend a big rectangle one like this, but you can also get long skinny ones if you prefer. Afterwards, they're easy to wash and rinse out. That's why my number four game night recommendation is a silicone bar mat. Now, whether you're having adult beverages or not, during a long night of gaming, it's important to keep you and your guests hydrated. So number three on my list of game night accessories are carafes or pitchers of ice water. Like the ice bucket, this is all about making things convenient and comfortable for your guests. They might not feel comfortable helping themselves to a glass of water, especially if they don't know whether to get it from the sink or if you have some sort of filtered water, and they might not want to disrupt a game to have to ask you for a glass or a refill. It's so much nicer when they can just reach over or walk up to the counter, grab a pitcher, and fill their own glass. I know this is something that I really appreciate as a guest at someone else's house since I'm always thirsty. Something with a lid is never a bad idea. It'll help protect against spills in case it gets tipped over. And like the ice bucket, be sure to keep an eye on the water level of your pitchers throughout the night and keep them topped off. Number two is an accessory that I personally didn't get until last year. It was my number one board game accessory purchase of 2023, and I don't know why it took me so long to get one. This is a neoprene game mat for the table. A game mat really elevates the entire board gaming experience, literally and figuratively. It makes it so much easier to pick up cards or components and makes game night feel that much more special. In fact, I've got a completely separate video where I did an in-depth review of this fantastic, cheap game mat that I got from Amazon. So be sure to check that one out if you haven't already. And my number one accessory for game night, well, assuming you're gonna be rolling dice, a dice tray. Even if you're not playing a game that uses dice, it's nice to have a set around even if all you're doing is rolling to see who goes first. Dice trays are great because they keep dice from rolling off the table and onto the floor. Or worse, prevent embarrassment from anyone who accidentally rolls the dice knocking things over on the game board. Now everyone's scrambling to remember where the player pieces were or how far up the point tracker they were. I remember way back in the early days of playing Settlers of Catan, we used to pass the box lid around to roll the dice in. This is definitely something you want to avoid. For one, 
it adds wear and tear to your game box. The other problem is that the game box is so deep, you can't always see the dice faces from across the table. Dice trays make the experience so much better. They are really satisfying to roll your dice in. And you can get them for pretty cheap. Whether you're getting one like this wooden game land tray from Amazon or this collapsible tray from Harbor Loot, which is nice because it unfolds flat and can be stored anywhere. Each of these were under 15 bucks. In fact, you might even consider getting two trays, one for each side of the table so that you don't have to pass it around as much, or even a tray for each player. But at a minimum, if you're gonna be rolling dice at all on game night, then get a dice tray for the table. You won't regret it. There you have it, my top five game night accessories. There's a lot of things I thought about that didn't make the list, things like fun snacks, music, maybe even party lighting. In fact, maybe I'll come back and do another one at some point. But to me, these five are the most critical and what I think will help set you up for hosting a successful game night. I'd love to hear what your must-have game night accessories are down in the comments. Let me know if I'm missing anything. Thanks so much for watching, thanks for liking and subscribing, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one here on Board Game Casual.